G'day guys. Today we're going to be looking at playoffs Paddy Mills doing a little bit of a player review. So let's jump right into the first quarter. He's the big man point guard. So let's switch him out for Russell Westbrook. Now he's got some solid base stats. His speed and dribbling are both in the 90s and he's got a pretty good three point shot. In fact, you can see here that his three point shot is equivalent for countdown and tip off Harden. They have a, both have an 86 three pointer. If you look at Paddy Mills hidden stats on NBA live.gg, he also has a 99 agility and he's pretty effective at getting into the paint as well. So although he doesn't have a great shooting rating, he's pretty good at getting inside and uh, he's got a great outside game. Going against one of my league mates, unreal two-way lineups, got some really solid cards in this, so this should be fun. So most of my testing this quarter will be with his three-point shot, just to see where uh, where he shoots well from. So let's run straight down to the top of the key and put one up. 10% release, a little bit long. Not a great start. Might have, to, might have to get him going with a mid range shot now. I'll um, run down the side, then run across to the top and do a fade away. A little step back fade. That was long too. Okay, what I'll try and do next is get him going with a layup. Oh, there's a nice steal. So across to Mills. Across the top, do a little spin, a little step back, pump fake, 12%, there we go. Got him open enough for a shot, which is a little bit hard because he's a shorter player. Uh, Ran in the complete wrong direction there. Oh, the offensive boards are killing me. Okay, now let's try a wing three. A little bit contested, still drops it, that was nice. I think next what I'll try is running him around the top of the arc until he gets open. Maybe if one of my guys comes to set a screen. So I can use Griffin there. There we go, pretty open. Hits that too. So it's good. Made a couple of shots in a row now after a pretty poor start. I'll try chucking an alley-oop next. If he gets a steal with a single swipe, that was nice. All right, alley-oop to Elijah one. Ooh, overthrew that. I was expecting at least Elijah one to catch that. Uh, so maybe Paddy Mills isn't the best you're gonna be chucking up alley oops. It's hardened with that mid-range shot. Alright, let's try a, another run around the top of the arc. That seemed to work well. Wait for one of my guys to come and create some space. Uh, use Griffin again. There we go. Splash, nothing but net. So it looks like you need to be pretty open with Paddy Mills for him to be effective. Um, which makes sense because he's a shorter player, so it's going to be harder for him. My defense is getting eaten alive. Let's see how he uh, goes in the clutch. Oh, didn't want him to step in there. I want him to stay back. He's got, <laughs> given his ratings, he's probably got more chance of making a three. Sometimes those animations happen. It's a little bit frustrating, but uh, not terrible. He made three threes in that quarter once he got going with that little mid-range shot. Let's try against a solid defensive lineup. 98 over defensive lineup. Let's see, here. Let's see how he matches up with uh, Triple Double King Russell Westbrook. I'll start off with the run around the top until I get open three. And he stepped into that animation as well. There is height let him down a little bit. He seems to be a little trigger happy on that animation, which I don't want him to do, so I've got to be a little bit more careful with that. See if I can get a steal or at least a stop here. A little bit better defense. Oh, the animation from Westbrook was too good. Once I go into that animation, it's 
pretty likely that they're going to hit. Right, so let's let's get Paddy Mills into the lane and get him with a. Uh, it's hard for him to score with his height in the lane, but if he can get open, and we'll do that little step back trick again. There we go. Okay. Two points. Now let's see if we can get some three point shots going. Alright. Mills got the ball. He's going to sprint over it here and do an uncontested wing corner. Uh, wing three. Didn't drop. It's just not feeling it. Paddy Mills on Ginobili. No good. Samson with a nice. Uh, it wasn't Samson, it was Elijah one. I think he did block twice. I didn't catch you block the second time. Uh, where is Mills? There he is. Alright. Super contested logo three just cause. Haven't been super impressed with him if I'm being honest. That's what I thought. If I chuck up a logo for any drops that, that um <laughs> that might change my mind. Let's just back up here, go back into the corner, lose my defender, 10% release. Okay, there we go. So once again he's showing that if he's got an open good shot, he can make them. The large one's doing really well on defense this quarter. Blocking shots, contesting shots, sprint into the corner, put up another three. Swish. Seems to have got that streak happening now, although it's not a great streak. His uh, streak ability is in the 70s if I remember, maybe in the 80s. Even that one, I think Elijah won contested enough. Unfortunately, Kawhi got the rebound again, but uh, all right, let's see if Mills, there we go. Oh, the animation I didn't want. Elijah won the buzzer beating layup, doesn't make it. I probably won't bother looking through the AH. I think I got Mills for about 90K from memory, but given that gameplay, he's probably not a big man point guard that I would recommend. I think there are other ways to spend your money or save it. Obviously, Master Westbrook, the 95 over um, big man point guard, is free as long as you put the time into grinding all, out all of his set requirements. All right, I think I'll end this review there with a thumbs down. Not a big fan of playoffs Paddy Mills. I love his uh, gameplay in real life, especially as a fellow Aussie, but his in-game card, this specific card, didn't really impress me that much. So I don't think he's worth the 90k or so. Thanks for watching guys. If you enjoyed this, please like and subscribe and check back for new content.